All right, Sandy, let's start with this year's club uh, playing their best stretch of mm -hmm. baseball. What do you see as the difference now as opposed to maybe a month ago? Uh, better fundamentals, better approach at the plate. Uh, our pitching has given us the chance throughout the year to stay in the game. But you just can't count only on pitching alone. You have to score some runs. And uh, guys were like not swinging the bat the proper way, I, I felt. I think they had wrong approaches. Everybody was pulling everything, trying to hit home runs. But I think like uh, a month ago, they, they started to hit the ball the middle out of the way, be able to cover away and not and just, and just take what the pitcher's giving you. So they, their approach has changed dramatically and that really is paying off. What do you enjoy the most about coaching? And when you were playing, did you always think you'd end up being a coach? When I was playing and I, be, I became, you know, I, I was in the injury list a lot and I, I, plenty. So when you get to reflect a lot and you get to see the game different way. So I felt like uh, a lot of people say, hey, when you stop playing, you probably could be a coach because you can identify many things right away. But uh, I, I enjoy teaching. I enjoy uh, breaking down opposition pitchers and catchers and also kind of bring that to the table to our team. Uh, our, our team, uh, our guys are very athletic and uh, kind of perform better if they, ha if they have a better idea and understanding what everybody else is do uh, will do to them. So. I enjoy co uh, coaching to me is, is a passion and uh, I started doing that when I was a player. Not even specific to the All-Star game. I mean, 1997 was such an incredible year. When I say 1997, what runs through your head? Well, many great memories. I mean, 1997, by any means, we didn't start great in the season. Regular season, we were like kind of hovering around 500, five games over, six games over, but we were not, we didn't hit a stretch until Gene Tommy's birthday. Until we celebrated Gene Tommy's birthday, we all pulled our socks up and uh, we had a meeting in the locker room and say, hey, you know, guys, we are too talented to play the baseball the way we are. We took off after that, uh, and uh, we became a unit and a team. and And trust me, '97 team was was loaded with good players, but we we were underachieving. So uh, a lot of things go through my mind. You know, the All Star game. The Jim Tommy birthday that we, we started taking off uh, and all the playoff experience was fantastic. I, I felt like uh, beating the Yankees uh, in the first series was, uh, it was almost like a war series. You hit two famous home runs in 1997, one in the All-Star game and one against the Yankees, the series you just mentioned. Take me through those. What do you remember about those? Well, the All-Star game one, I, I, you know, you, you don't come to the All-Star game expecting you're going to be in the MVP. You come here to especially in your home ballpark. I came here to enjoy this with my family and uh, our, uh, our community. And I was having a heck of a time. I also had my son on the field in the home run derby. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the, the, uh, the fact that I had an opportunity to win the game, it was just like, it was just second to none. I, I went out there and I was so anxious at the, the first two swings that I had that I had to calm myself down. And, and I just, like I say, have a better approach and hit the ball up the middle. Just try to drive that guy for second base and end up hitting a home run. So sometimes you, you try to do minimal things and you end up something, doing something big. Uh, the home run against uh, Rivera, that was huge because I, this is the first, it's the first time in a playoff that I had an approach and that approach paid off perfectly because I, he throws a lot of cutters and we just basically focus in this particular window where I'm going to swing the bat and he threw the ball right there. So as a player, you're running up uh, right to that Sunday, you know, two days before the All-Star game, you're focused on playing the games. As a coach, same thing, you're focused on the games. But do you notice any differences in the preparation between 1997 and 2019? Anything different? Well, it's, it's totally different because I, I was like, I was a player then, now I'm a coach. Uh, my, my responsibilities are totally different now. So I'm more focused on what, how, how can I get my players better in my department. And, and uh, then I was just focusing on, okay, how am I going to prep myself for the All-Star game and not having a break? So this is completely different, uh, you know, views of uh, when you are players and when you are uh, a coach. But uh, I'm definitely going to enjoy both. Does the event seem bigger now? Does the All-Star game and the week, the weekend, does that seem bigger now? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a lot, it's a lot bigger, but in the past, you got more people coming in right away because there was no, so much social media. You know, now there's social media, people really like, Everything is just so prepared in the social media that uh, it has become uh, this magnitude of events. So we got the red carpet. We didn't have that then. Uh, that'd be kind of interesting, mm. by the way. See how everybody comes in and 
I think it's going to be in center field, the red carpet, which is a perfect spot, perfect location for the stadium. They have the Gene Tomey statue right there also. You, recently, you were named Grand Marshal of the All-Star Game Parade. Did they tell you? What does that mean? What does that entail? What <laughs> do you know. do? I just, I just take it out. I, let, 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 I take it like, let's get the party started. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring everybody in. It's me and uh, Gene Tomey, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, just it's the Grand Parade, the red carpet, that we're going to come in Grand Marshal, uh, our, our squads. So, uh, it means a lot. I mean, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm honored to be named an ambassador, one of the ambassadors of the All Star Game, and Grand Marshal even better. Certainly, uh, you mentioned Jim Tomey. There will be some other uh, former teammates in town. Do you look at this almost as like a reunion for you guys? Oh yes, uh, we we stay in contact. A lot of those guys come over. Uh, you got uh, Jimmy, Kenny Lofton, uh, Mike Hargrove, our manager, and uh, there's going to be many guys that I play with. Some of those guys come through the season. Uh, once in a while, other guys come to spring training, so uh, it's going to be like a, a mini reunion. Your daughter will be singing the national mm -hmm. anthem before the Futures game. Mm -hmm. Does that make it feel almost like full circle? I mean, what are the emotions associated <laughs> yeah. with that? She's, uh, she's done a fantastic job with, uh, with, with her career. So uh, she's going to be singing the uh, national anthem in the uh, Futures game, and then she's going to stick around for the other festivities uh, that we're going to enjoy with the family. So. It's a, it's a first circle. Also, my son is going to be here also, which is uh, he received the trophy in 1997 when uh, I was named the MVP. So they, they you know, they, they, they're going to enjoy it. They, they're here for the festivities also. I got to sneak this in, too. We know you're a big bike rider. Mm -hmm. Do you go through, what are your favorite spots in Cleveland to bike? Do you go through the Metro Parks? Uh, tell our <clears> audience what, what you do with that. Yeah, Metro Parks are, are, are great. You know, like uh, it's known for uh, a lot of cyclists going in there. So people are more careful there when they drive. Uh, I, I go there, I go to the towpath. I ride in Lake Road, uh, all, all on the west side. But uh, this year I haven't ridden that much. I've been pretty much uh, kind of in-house uh, riding on a virtual trainer because of certain situations and time. But uh, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy cycling, especially here in Cleveland. Uh, the community is great and there's a lot of riders out there. Sandy Alomar, 1997 All-Star Game MVP and Ambassador and Grand Marshal for the 2019 All-Star Game here in Cleveland. Thanks so much for the time. Oh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.